You are awake? I hope it is not because of me. Don't you ever go home? Well, I was on my way, but uh, I wanted to check up on you. So, uh, you should be getting some rest. My brain's working overtime. Well, you're disappointed about the surgery being delayed, huh? Disappointed, depressed. I think when you get all psyched up for something and it doesn't happen, you just feel that way. I don't know. Maybe it's an omen. Well, don't tell me you believe in such things. Well, I would like to think that we have a hand in the life that we lead, but lately everything seems to be conspiring against me. Well, the time will pass, you'll see. And perhaps it'll pass even faster at home when you're with your husband. Oh, well, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to manage that. I think it might look a little strange if I go home for a week only to come back, you know? I don't think I could really do it twice. Well, if that is your only consideration... No. I don't like lying to Cruz. Well, can I offer a piece of advice? I think you ask too much of yourself and too little of your husband. Why don't you call him and discuss it with him? Tell him what you are doing. He would understand and forgive, don't you think? To be honest with you, I don't really know if I want to do that. I don't know how he would react. I'm afraid that he would not forgive me for being dishonest with him, that I would hurt him. Even if he understood what you were doing? You see, he's a different type of person. He sort of has a code that he lives by. Rules that he thinks that are important. People should follow. Like a badge of honor. <laughs> Your husband, he sounds like a Frenchman. No, he's Latin. <laughs> well, that explains it. You love him very much, don't you? Yes, I do. Well, then it will work itself out. I hope you're right. Well, anyway, what's done is done. Now I just have to call him and try to convince him I need to stay in Paris a little while longer. 